So to get started on your virtual poster, open a browser and in the URL address type in www.newhide.com. In the bottom left hand corner, click, go up to where it says sign up. You're going to use your user, the same username that you use to log into your computer. As far as the password, just go ahead and use just the numbers. Your email will be your last name, first name, at lcpsmail.org. You can skip the full name, click on the Agree to Terms of Service, and create my account. This is your blank canvas. So if you'll click on it, down at the bottom you've got some controls. There's text, background, so you can kind of ch uh, choose your background color. Make sure that it's not too dark. Kind of play around with the colors. Don't like that pink. How about a muted kind of bluish purple? Yeah, I like that. Now, we're going to add our header, the title of our project. So we're going to go to the text, add header. I'm going to scoot it up to the top. And I'm going to type in the soundtrack of my life. The tools underneath allow me to mess with the alignment. I can center a line. I can also change the font. There's a bunch of them. You can kind of play around with them. Uh, you do need to highlight your text so that the changes take effect. Next. you're going to add your first song. I'm going to choose the normal. I'm going to scoot it where I want my first song title to be. Type in the title of the song along with the artist's name and a brief description of why you chose the song, plus maybe a line from the song. Notice that I put quotation marks around the line to let everyone know that they did come from the song. I'll mess around with the type of font and make sure everything looks just like I want. Next, I want to find a, an image that goes with my song. So I'll go to Google, type in the name of the song, click on images. I'll look for one that I want, click on it. I'm going to go to I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to right click on that image. I'm going to save it to my computer. Next, I'll go back to New Hive, go down to my image icon, upload a picture, locate the picture where I downloaded it. Now, I can drag that picture to where I want it on my virtual poster. I can use the little side button to rotate my picture the way I want it. I can use the corner buttons to shrink the size of my image and I can do the same for my text boxes. To cite where I found the image, I'll go back to where I found the image Highlight the address bar, copy it, add a new text box, paste it, change the text if I want to or the font if I want to, and I will drag it underneath the picture. Since we know how to add an image, let's change our background. I'm going to go find uh, some kind of image, so I'll Google album. I'll find, then I'll click on images, and I'll find something that I kind of think would look good in the background. Again, I'll click on that image. I'll go to where it says view page. 
I'll download the image, go back to New Hive, go to my image icon, click on background. To the left is where I'm going to locate the image that I just downloaded. I'm going to play with the opacity, which kind of means that it lightens or darkens it. You don't want it too dark because you want to be able to make sure you can read the text. I need to cite where I found the image for my background, so I'll go back to that page. I will highlight the URL, right click copy, go back to New Hive, choose another text box, right clicking it, paste. I will make it uh, the size that I want it and I will drag it up to the right hand corner. I will continue adding the songs by clicking on text box and typing in the song, title, artist, and a brief description of why I chose that song. I can change the font style and I can also change the color of my text. When adding images to your virtual poster, go to Google, type in what you're looking for, scroll down until you find something appropriate, click on view page, right click on the image and download it to your computer, go back to New Hive, click on the image icon, locate the file, move that around where you want it. Be sure to cite where you got the image, clicking on the URL, right click copy, add a text box, right click paste, and move it where you want it to go. Ready to log out of your computer, go to the left hand corner, click on the icon, go to log out. If you get a message that says anything that has not been saved will be lost, click on cancel. Instead, go to your right-hand corner, click on Saved, title your work, click Publish. Now you can go to the left-hand corner, click on the icon, log out, and your work is saved for you until the next time you return. That's the way to create your virtual poster. Have fun creating, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.